Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Pashvika. Welcome to Goodbye the Magazine Pay channel where we make content for artists and creative entrepreneurs. In today's video, guys, is the most requested video. So I'm going to show you how to upload your art or design onto Jazzle because this was the comment that I was getting a lot in my comment section of my YouTube videos. And many people were asking me how to upload it because their interface is a little bit more confusing to actually upload. But I have already made a complete tutorial on how to sign up on Jazzle, how to open up your own store, complete tutorial about the Jazzle. If you want to check that video out, I'm going to link that video in the card section above, guys. You can check that complete tutorial about how to open up a shop, how to upload an art and various details regarding the payment section, store customization, each and everything about the Jazzle store opening. Regarding that, I have made a complete tutorial, so you can check it out in the card section above, guys. But in today's video, guys, I'm going to specifically show you how to upload an art or design onto Jazzle. So I'm just going to cover this one topic in today's video. So if you're interested in that, then let's get started with that. And also, guys, before going, going into the good part, don't forget to click on the like button. I would really appreciate that. And also, also guys, I have a free guide that contains 60 plus niches which you can download right now. The link is in the description box below and you can make your own print-on-demand designs on these niches and can start selling and start making money on various print-on-demand websites and so on. So you can download that free guide. The link is in the description box below. And also guys, I have a free bundle which contains a free graphics that the 49 plus free graphics. You can download that free graphics and can use in making your own print-on-demand designs. The link of that free bundle is in the description box below. You can download both these things in the link in the description box below. Now let's get hop onto my laptop and I'm going to show you how to upload on Jazzle. So let's get started with Currently on the Jazzle and I'm going to show you how to upload a design, how to upload your artwork onto Jazzle. Now this is my storefront guys. You can see very well this is my storefront. Now this is my dummy account guys. I'm just created this store just to show you guys how to upload an art to design onto Jazzle. So it's just a dummy account. So when you are, just click on the uh, your storefront on Jazzle and after that just go over to the product section just click over to the product section and in the product section guys you're gonna see what are your recent products and all that and I, then after that you are gonna see there are the two options that is the quick create and create new product I have already made a video complete video talking about how to uh, open up a shop onto Jazzle, how to upload your artwork and various details settings regarding onto the Jazzle. You can check it that complete tutorial onto Jazzle. The link is in the card section above guys. But here you can see very well they have the two options. That is a quick create and create new product. If you click on the create new product option, then obviously you're going to land on a page where you just need to uh, allow to open uh, to select your design and upload onto one type of product. But we want our design to be uploaded on every product they have on the marketplace onto the Jazzle. So I'm going to just click onto the option that is a quick create. Because quick create is an option where you can upload your one design or one artwork, whatever it is, onto various different products onto their marketplaces. Okay, guys, after clicking on the option quick create, you'll land onto such type of uh, bar. Now, here you just need to click onto this bar and select add logo template. You don't need Jazzle default categories. We want our own logo, our own template or our own design. So just click on the add logo template and just wait for a second. Yeah, now here you can ha add your own image. So click on the change option. Okay guys, now you get clicked on the change option and now you need to upload your design. You can upload your design or either you can see, check out the designs that you have already there on your, uh, on your Jazzle storefront. You can use them as well. Otherwise, just click on this upload new image. Then click on the select one image for upload and select an image or a graphic from your own laptop your own computer as i have selected one artwork this is a watercolor texture this is a traditional artwork that i digitalize it and this is a watercolor texture so i'm uploading it right now you can see in the bar there is an uploading section that's 11 person completed 16 person and once it's done you can see that our artwork our design has uploaded onto the jazzle and then we can go on and add the title description and various other details regarding our product or regarding our design so let's 
Okay, guys, our design are 100% uploaded. And now we can just edit our design. So you can see here is our design. Here, boom, guys, we have already uploaded the design. You can use the template defaults if you want to, but I don't want to use it. So I'm just going to click over to the done option. Okay, guys, you can see very well. Our design is there on various different products onto the Jazzle. You can see there are various different products that they have on the Jazzle. So either you can select the individual product which on which you want your design. You can do that if you want your product onto the mug, onto t-shirts, onto the cap. Then you can select the individual product as well. Or otherwise, if you want your design to all on the all the product, then click on the select all option. Otherwise, you need to select the individual product over here. This is a checkbox you need to tick on every individual product which you want them, which you want on your design to be. But since I want my design to be every product to on every product, so I'm just click on the select all option. And also, guys, I'm going to show you one thing about this. Just you can also edit the individual product if you see your designs are not looking good or it's not maximized and it's not looking perfect according to that product you just click on that and you can modify and edit your design according to it so let me give you an example on this uh, example on this mug and we'll just gonna uh, edit this so I'm just gonna click over to the edit option I'm on the click option now you can see the various different uh, photographs the your product photographs you can see how your designs is looking from everywhere around the corner you can see inside of the mug it's the black color you can change this uh, color as well you can change the image as well if you see that your image is not looking good onto this product you can just click onto the change option and you can click and upload a separate image or upload another quality design or whatever you want to do with that you can do that as well now guys you have a various different option over here you can ch choose the color if you want the color i want to that's the blue green brown uh, red blue yellow there are various different colors you can select according to it inside of this and you can also select the size which one you want to select the size how your mug gonna look on each product this is the another thing how you're gonna look on it you can just choose the whatever thing you want to do and you can edit your design you can also change your design from here and can upload a separate design for each individual product guys if you want to go with that you can do that you can modify each and every product you are uploading your design onto and then click on the done option so here we are we have just added it on mug and you can add it the same way the other product as well there are various different products guys you can see very well they have a huge list of the different products now I'm just going to click over to the next option after editing my product and everything related to it. I'm just going to click over to the next option. Now this is the main juicy part of your product guys. The title, description and details about your designs. So I just need to go over to this and just add the title since it's the red watercolor texture. So I'm going to write the red watercolor texture background or design whatever you want to go with that then write the description of your product I am just writing as a beautiful uh, high quality design you can write whatever thing you want to write it then scroll down here is another juicy part guys events and occasion if your design is relevant to one particular event or occasion for example let me show you exactly how to set up just click on the select option So here are the different categories guys you can see there are the expressions holidays occasions and other if your design is related to any particular occasion or holiday if it's for christmas valentine easter whatever the occasion it is you can select this occasion over here guys this is really really important this is the one extraordinary feature that Redbubble or Tee Public don't have you can select your design related to any specific holiday and uh, occasion so if it is optimized for that thing then your design would have more high likely chances to be found when someone is actually looking for that particular occasion or that particular holiday onto the jazzle which is really really important guys you want your design to be searchable for that particular keyword for that particular occasion or holiday so by using this feature and this feature of the chasel really makes you makes your design stand out because you know that your design is relevant to the holiday that is a christmas easter valentine whatever it is and then you can go for it so I'm just click on the holiday so there would be the bunch of the holidays you can select any holidays like is the uh, admin proof day the cinco day you can select the various different types of holiday which is relevant to your design 
or there is an occasion list is also there guys and you can select it so here is a different occasion baby and expecting than the anniversary celebration divorce graduation if your design is relevant to any occasion you can select from here and then click on the done option and that's it guys since my design is in red watercolor texture it's an evergreen a design it's not related to any particular occasion so i don't need to select that but you guys can do it guys this is really worth doing it don't leave this feature of jazzle like that only because it's really a game changer option because if your design is particularly relevant to any occasion and or holiday and you are selecting them in your design then your design would have more likely highly chances to be found for that particular occasion that particular holiday which is really really important guys so do it another thing is important about the recipient which is also an amazing thing let me show you what does that really mean so if your design is relevant to suppose for the valentine and it's for the him then you can go for the him and can select the various things related to it you can select your ideal customer your ideal customer avatar from this particular feature which is really really amazing guys suppose if your design is related to the valentine it's for him that is a boyfriend you can select this over here and can click on the done that means your design is related to the valentine that's the occasion and then we are selecting the recipient which is related to the boyfriend then it's quite related to that and whomsoever is looking for the gift for the boyfriend for the valentine your design will going to pop up for that particular keyboard for that particular recipient this is the way to test the market guys and also you need to know what your design is actually serving for if it's related to some particular niche or some particular occasion or some ideal color client avatar then do go forward and click on this option which is really really important to target your ideal client in avatar for the kids for the paths for the them for anyone or for her you can go forward and click on that there are various different things you can click over your partner new father nephew like a father whatever it is you can click in that and can check the recipient from that another thing is guys about the store category now this is a store category if you have two or three stores you can click on this store category and select the store whichever one you want your design to be uploaded your product to be uploaded now the tags option guys you are allowed to add five to ten tags per product so use this feature very well guys don't spam it since the red watercolors i'm just gonna write red water color texture background then I can also write as the painting because it's a traditional artwork and then another thing is the gradient and then click on the add tag option. So here I have added the five, six tags guys. You can add five to ten tags depending relevant to your design. Then this is another thing guys. I've already talked about this why it's so important because if your design is for anyone like it's for adult as well it's for the kids it's for every other age group of the people then select for the g and if your design is not related to that if it is supposed related to some type of uh, adult design then please select the audience according to it don't select your audience just like that only see if your design is related to adult category it's some type of like a adult category then go forward and select the pg13 or the r from this thing i've already talked about this feature in my previous complete tutorial onto the jazzle you can check it out what does this really mean over here guys then another thing is product visibility do you want your product to be visible publicly to everyone or hidden or direct only obviously we are uploading it for our storefront so i want it for the publicly visible then the quick create product options you want a products to sell or template to sell a template for cost to quick to create okay guys here on the jazzle people come to create their own product to design their own product so if you want your product to sell you want the template to sell that you are creating this template for someone to sell or you are selling the template for reusing to quick for the quick create it depends on you i'm just clicking on the product to sell show a customize it option do you want to customize this uh, design yes click on the yes if not then click on the no because this is a thing that you can allow the customer to customize your design according to their need that is the royalty information guys by default it's set as a five percent you can increase your 
uh, royalty percentage and which going to affect 20th of every month suppose if you are having a default as a 5% and you want to increase it to 10% then new uh, royalty percentage will going to come into effect on 20th of every month so keep that thing in mind I'm just keeping it as a 5% because that's the default then I'm just going to click over to I have the right to publish and sell this product without violating other rights and then click on the I'm not a robot click on the I am not robot option and then just click on the post it so that's it for today's video guys I hope you really enjoyed today's videos leave a comment below and let me know if you have further more doubt regarding the jazzle I'm gonna make another video for you guys and that's it for today's video guys see you for the next time guys take care bye guys